Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? Welcome back. We got a special episode today. The quality is a little different right now. It's going to change because I brought my camera for something special that we're going to film, but I forgot the memory card. So we're going to have to figure that out in a little bit. As you can tell in the name of the title, this is the first edition of Store Tour, where we're going to give a tour of other mailbox stores. Just pulled up. Let's see what's up. All right, so we're in Walmart now. This is the CEO of it inbox right here he got his own reserved parking space at his spot wait till you see this later bro you want to divide and conquer bro yeah let's divide and conquer man all right oh here we go here we go oh they keep them in here what size what's what size are you looking to get i guess uh, a 128 128 yeah okay the best deal right now is this 19 for 128 they were like oh, built yeah. into the all right we back in biz bro Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? What's up, Fishbox friends? We're back. I got the camera ready. <clears throat> so we with my boy today, PJ. Y'all might have seen him in one of the other episodes. What's up, brother? What's up, y'all? My man's built his own version of Fishbox and took it to a whole new level. We're going to talk more about that later. Yeah. His business is called Inbox. But before we before we talk about Inbox, come look at how we got it set up over here. Hold on a second. What would you even Google to look that up to get that made? So these are all the businesses at his... Uh, at, what is this, Voorhees Square? Yeah, so, all that's worked out through the landlord. Oh, okay. Yeah, as soon as you move in, they want to know your logo, and they, they put together the whole dimensions and everything like that. So you pull up at the fish box store, we ain't even got a parking spot. Look at this. He got his own reserve parking spot, bro. This this goes right here. We're going to have a reserve one day with a fish box logo on it. It's going to have an electric charger right there. We're going to have an electric vehicle in there. But until then, we're just going to live vicariously through you, brother. A lot of y'all ask me, like, what? What type of location would be good? This is what his location looked like. There's a bunch of businesses here. Before we do that, look at this guy. This is his vehicle right here. Yeah. Look at this guy. He got a whole yeah. Tesla with the custom plates on. Look at this guy. Yeah. Look at it. Woo! All right, let's check out the office. All right. This, all this parking is for the customers too, right? Yes. Yeah, Anything that's not reserved for inbox is for the customers. Yes. Yeah. And so we walk over here a little bit. I'm going to speed it up like they do on MTV Cribs. All right, so we inside here, man. Give me a little, little. So this is where the customers will sit right here. Yeah. So this whole area right here is the lobby. Uh, the customers don't come beyond this point right here when they come in for their mail or their packages. Okay. Uh, there's free coffee and everything for them here. And you know we're gonna have to try this coffee out there. Yeah. So that was our born day, uh, born December twenty seventh, twenty twenty. This is all redone. This was dingy carpet at first. Mm -hmm. We had a company come in here and put down the hard floor. This was a full door at one point. Yeah. Uh, my neighbor actually put this together for me. We needed a half door just to kind of keep this area walled off, but we could still interact with the customer without having to open this door. Yeah. So that's what we did. We had okay. To all right. Let's go inside. Let's see more. So this is our mail processing area. So this is just the down area. If we have things or packages to process or yeah. if we just have food to eat, we'll do all that right here. So here's our office shredder. Mm -hmm. This was our first ever printer here. Mm -hmm. And we're still holding on to Still this holding? Yo, two years? Yeah, three years three and years. it's still working? Yeah, because it was reliable. That's and a new record, we, we bro. We upgraded, but we wanted to keep this. So. Okay, so everything gets printed. Out. All labels and everything get printed out of there. Pretty much, yeah. So package storage and, and mail. Oh, uh, y'all know what these we yeah. got these these old we got the i had these ever since the first day that i started fish box yeah. and they stained up a little bit i had to replace some of the wood pieces because they gave you extra but it's still well, holding strong this man. was a fish box recommendation so yep they're, so, they're still here see, still see there you go yeah. to be honest with you fish box customers <clears throat> if i had to go back and do it all over again i would use square yeah. square has banking products you can get a loan through square yeah. you can process gift cards for customers through square you can do recurring payments in square they set up registers where you can accept cash and credit cards i didn't even think that i got can you guys have bitcoin or stuff like that through I think square so, yeah yes yeah, so i would say square is the best solution you can do your taxes right through there at the end of the year it's just everything kind of all baked into one yeah what's that so this is our card this is the inbox card and it's a not so normal card we don't actually put any information on it we have you scan a qr code and it'll lead you right to our website pause that screenshot that go check it out when you guys get some free time all over here Oh, yeah, it's one of my... I'll show y'all this mural real quick. This is one of my favorite things right here. Tell us about this right here. So shout out to David Okendo. Uh, he has a uh, art business. He actually created his own calligraphy. And what this says in his own words is, uh, you did not come this far just to come this far. Mm. And he was nice enough to come here. Uh, we told him what we wanted, and he put this all together in a few hours. So we're very thankful to him. And it's something for us to see every day, just mm -hmm. to remind ourselves why we're here. 
and uh, that we can keep going. So this is a modular dolly. Uh, you can use it traditionally like you would any other dolly here, but this one's, when I say it's modular, mm -hmm. you could use it in a couple of different ways. So first of all, this is the main way. Mm -hmm. Or oh, yeah. pull this out. Oh yeah. And, and use it this way. Oh yeah. So that way you've got large, <laughs> large boxes. Start stacking everything. them up. You're yeah. gonna need one of these. Where you get it from, bro? I got this from Amazon. All right, so we got some more boxes and stuff over here. This is where we store everyone's virtual mail. So tell us about what virtual mail is and how it's helped your business. So virtual mail is just your physical mail in a digital form. Uh, your, vir your physical mail comes here for me to process. I'll take the pictures of it, I'll upload it. You'll see everything through your email or through your app. I'm a little okay. parked, so I'm gonna take a Oh yeah, one. go ahead. <laughs> and then this is all uh, our management office here. You can lay down and relax some. So this is the upgraded uh, printer, uh, the one that replaced our, our old printer. And this one is, very, is capable of scanning multiple documents at once, front and back, and it's, it's a really good solution for what we're doing. Yeah. You got a little workout area over here so you can do your Pilates? No, the boys sit, that's where they sit and play their games. Okay, so you yeah. can set it, they can play the PlayStation here and everything at work, yeah. or you can play at work. Don't act like you don't be playing at work. A bro. little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right, what we got here? We got a little artwork from the kiddos. Yeah, just to keep it grounded and remember, you know, why we're doing this. So here's another printer here. Uh, so when we have forwards. All right, I'm gonna do some B-roll. Okay. Just to get like a little bit and then we'll talk about this software. Bro. start we were all about convenience and finding ways to make the process quicker for the customer that's already interested in virtual mailing so with anytime mailbox or iPostal one it requires downloading the app that you have to open and then you have to go to the app and get in there and interact with everything that way what we did is cut the middle out that email that you would have gotten through anytime mailbox is now how you interact with inbox ourselves so we'll send you the picture of the mail that you received and we have buttons built into the email itself where you can interact if you want something open and scanned forwarded if you want to pick it up if you want it shredded you could do all of those things right within the same email itself so let's take this piece of mail for instance all right we'll so just, just use this one as an example i'll set it here okay and i'll take a picture of it where with this uh with this ipad and then we'll just upload it from here to the mm -hmm. system i will assign it to a customer from okay. here and then it goes to their inbox. Here, you yep. received a new mail, yep. And then here right, it is. There's some options here. Walk us through these options. Yep, so if you want this piece of mail open and scanned, that's what you choose. If you don't want it, if you think it's trash, you'll just hit shred. Mm -hmm. If you want it forwarded to your location, you'll just hit forward. Or if it's not yours and we send it to you by mistake, you could just hit not mine mm -hmm. and we'll take care of it from there. If you don't want to use it on your phone, you could use it on the desktop too. And this is what it looks like. So you have a history of each piece of mail that you received with us. Now, what type of people would be great candidates for your service? Somebody who's maybe in the military, somebody who's studying abroad, like what type of people would you say would be the... So there's a few uh, that we target as an audience. So there's small businesses or LLCs. Uh, we go to them first because a lot of them are doing business from home. And a lot of people don't know this, but you shouldn't use your home address when you register your LLC because it makes your private address public. Uh, any professional truck drivers out there who are always on the road, this is a great way to stay up to date with your mail. And PJ is also in the military as well. Air Force, right? That's right. Air Force. He's been in there since 18 years old. So you're going how many years now, bro? It's my 23rd year. 23rd year in the military. So you're supporting a, supporting a military-owned business as well. Yep. So th we appreciate your service and everything you do, man. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, so starting out, we just got this app made but what we wanted to do is learn it ourselves and figure out all the bugs ourselves and, and you know tinker with it and perfect it to eventually offer the inbox software to other mailing centers everywhere to use if they have virtual mail clients we would look forward to being the first customer at fishbox bro oh, I so appreciate uh, it, man. i appreciate you bro oh, man appreciate it yeah keep doing business keep doing well yeah thanks for coming yeah. through man oh, no. Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? So we just finished up at PJ's Mailbox store at Inbox. Had a great time over there. Had a great conversation. One thing I didn't mention is that him and I, man, we went to... I wouldn't even say high school together. We wouldn't even say middle school. We used to play Pop Warner football together, and his dad was the coach. And then he moved to my neighborhood back in the in the 90s, and we've been friends ever since then. So I've known that guy almost 
almost 30 years now. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a, a overview of what it would be like to have your own mailbox store that looks different than mine. There's an infinite amount of possibilities that you could have. It doesn't have to look a certain type of way. You don't have to make it look like everybody else's mailbox store. Do you. That's the whole fun of starting a business. Be original. Be unique. Do something totally different that nobody else is doing. If y'all have any questions about any of this, reach out to me. Info at getfishbox.com. Reach out to my man on uh, on Instagram. I'll tag his Instagram down here for inbox. And until then, we'll see y'all the next time. Peace.